Hello, first graders. Good to see all of you. Mrs. Huff here. We're going to read a story today. The story is called Wide Awake by Faye Robinson. Today, when we read our story, we're going to think about two things that readers do. First, when readers are looking at tricky words and trying to solve tricky words, we think about what would make sense. Does it sound right? And does it look right? Does the word we said match the letters on the page? The other thing we're going to practice today is retelling. We're going to practice retelling our story across our fingers. Our main character of our story today is a fox. Her name is Roxy. Think about what do we think might be happening with Roxy? Also think about that the title of the story, Wide Awake. Hmm. This is a, about a fox family. There's four people and four foxes in the family. Roxy, father, mother, and Andy. It was very late. Mother and father were in bed. Andy was fast asleep, but Roxy was wide awake. She looked at the moon. She watched Andy sleep. She looked at the Covered this word with a sticky note. Hmm, what is she looking at? See her eyes? She's looking at, hmm. Let's look at the first letters in this word. We have a blend. Cur. She looked at the Cur, what could it be? Cur, oh, we have an A. Crack, crack, oh, I see at the end of that word, we have an, an S. Cracks, we have to read to the end, cracks. Okay, we just did some word solving, so we need to take a running start and make sure it makes sense. She looked at the cracks in the wall. Does that make sense? Hmm? Does it look right? Does it sound right? Mother, Roxy called. Mother ran into the room. I can't sleep, Roxy said. Will you read me one more book? Maybe then I'll fall asleep. Mother read one more book. Now go to sleep, Roxy, she said. Roxy closed her eyes. She, hmm, we have another sticky note. I'm going to read a little bit past it. She blink onto her back. What is she doing? She blink onto her back. Hmm, maybe she rolled onto her back? That would make sense. Hmm, let's look. Look at the first few letters. She rolled onto her back, maybe? Oh, we have a ah. We have a, maybe a short O. Oh, it could be long O. Oh. She flopped. Oh, she flopped onto her back. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, looks like she could have flopped onto her back. 
Does that look like the word flop? Okay. She rolled on her belly. She flopped onto her back again. But she could not fall asleep. Father, Roxy called. Father ran in. I'm thirsty, said Roxy. Maybe a glass of... Oh, we have another word covered with a sticky note. Maybe a glass of... Hmm, what might she want to drink? A glass of water? Maybe a glass of water? Think about what would water start with? What sound do you hear? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's look and see. Is it a W? Whoa. Oh, it's not a W, it's an M. Mmm, a glass of mmm. Oh, mm, milk. Milk. Now we're going to do a running start. Maybe a glass of milk. Does that make sense? Will help me go to sleep. Ah, that makes sense. And it looks like the word milk. Father got a glass of warm milk and Roxy drank every drop. Good night, Roxy, said Father. Go to sleep now. Roxy pushed her blanket. There she is with her blanket. She pulled them back on. She pushed them off and pulled them on. Then she Blank. Hmm. What could this word be? I'm going to go past it. The blanket. Then she blank the blanket on the floor. Look at the picture. She, oh, maybe she tossed the blankets on the floor. Hmm, let's see what the first letters are. She, ooh, we have, a, we have a TH. That's one of our diagrams. And then we have an R. Thrr. What did she do with those blankets? She thrr. Oh, through. Threw the blankets on the floor. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Does it match the letters? Yep. Mother! Father! Roxy called. Mother and father both ran in. Try counting, Roxy. Count as high as you can, said mother. Then Start over, said father. Roxy started counting. Mother and father went back to bed. Soon the house was very quiet. Then... Roxy shouted. I counted 100. I did it 10 times. That's a million, I think. Andy came into the room. Why is everybody up? He said.
We're all wide awake, said Father. Let's have a snack. Andy, Roxy, and Mother sat down at the kitchen table. Father made a snack. Have some toast and jam, said Father. Thank you, said Mother. Thank you, said Andy. But Roxy didn't say a thing. She was fast asleep. The end. So now we're going to practice doing our retelling. We're going to retell what happened in this story across our fingers. In the beginning, help me out, what happened? In the beginning, Roxy couldn't, couldn't sleep. In the middle, okay, help me, say it out loud. In the middle, Roxy's mother and father tried to help her fall asleep. They gave her something to drink. They read her another story but she still couldn't fall asleep. In the end, what happened? In the end, they went to go get a snack and then Roxy fell asleep. Good job, first graders. So today we practiced two things that readers did. We practiced when you are solving tricky words in any of the books you are reading, you always want to check yourself and do your triple check. Does it make sense? Does it sound right? And does it look right? Does it match the letters? Also, after you read a story, you always want to think about how to retell what you just read. What happened first, what happened in the middle, and what happened at the end. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Enjoy reading, and I will see you again next week. Thank you.